blows right back in my face. What's going on, vape fam? This is Subhome Saint bringing you another review today, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Goon RDA by 528 Customs in collaboration with Blue Eyed Goon 83. In case you don't know who Blue Eyed Goon 83 is, he's on Instagram. He is very known for the very intricate builds, alien coils, all the crazy, crazy builds that I wouldn't even attempt because I am not that good at building that stuff. So, anyways, definitely go check him out if you are not following him on Instagram. If you have an Instagram, he's just got some amazing builds. But anyways, this is created by 528 Customs in collaboration with Blue Eyed Goon 83. So, now, the Goon RDA, it retails for about $60. Great deal, right? Alright, $60. It comes in copper, brass, and stainless. Now, I have the stainless right here because the copper and the brass come with a copper and brass deck. So, I'm kind of... I think it's copper deck. I think both of them are copper decks. But this one comes with a stainless steel deck. So, that's the one I went with because I just... I'm, I'm, I'm weird like that. I got enough medical problems. I don't need, I don't need something like that. But anyways... Hope everybody's been having a good week, man. I've been just miserable. I've been sick. I didn't go into work last night, and the night before I went, I went home early just because I just was not feeling good. Still not feeling good. I have horrible migraines. Um, just everything. So everybody's been telling me, you know, you need to lay off the caffeine. You need to stop drinking so much soda. All that stuff. I love my caffeine. I love my soda, and I drink soda 24-7, 365. I think I drink it from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep. So, you know, I didn't really think much about it. So I have kind of switched off the soda. I don't drink water. I just don't like water, man. I just don't. Uh, it's just something I can't do. I just don't like it. So I've been drinking caffeine-free soda in hopes that it would help, but so far, no. Not, not, no. It just makes me drink more because I'm assuming that I'm not getting enough caffeine or whatever. But anyways, you know, they should really think about that. You know, caffeine is just as addicting as nicotine. What's the difference? So anyways, anyways, guys, um, I've been dealing with migraines real bad, you know, to, so... To where it's been so bad to where I couldn't really move my eyes. Like, you know how you can't really look around? And it's been really, really bad. Had really upset stomach. Um, I got uh, knots under my arms. I don't know if that... I don't know if you guys know about that. Uh, it's uh, like a lymph node or whatever. But anyways, I've been getting those under my arms. So it's just been... A horrible week but you know I did promise I was gonna do a review so I said you know what I need to get up out of bed I need to get up get dressed get a shower all that good stuff and I need to do this video because I do I am a person of my word and I am going to do a review no matter whether I'm sick or not because that is what's important to me but anyways guys what we are taking a look at is the Goon RDA. It is 24 millimeters. It's not 22 millimeters, so it's not going to fit on your 22 millimeter mech mods or things like that. It's going to it'll look great on box mods, so it's definitely got a good thing. I will show you all this in a close up. Um it does have a half an inch drip tip and you can also use the Kennedy style drip tips as what I have here now. I got this one from Half Moon Mods, so it was green and black. Had to get it. Anyways, so it's not your standard 510 drip tip capable. It's just going to use the Kennedy style drip tips. Uh, it does have a fi copper 510 positive pin, gold plated post, and clamps. I will show you guys in the close ups. It is hybrid safe and it uses PEC insulator. It is not Peak or Delrin. PEC insulator is supposed to withstand those hotter builds, more warmer builds, and that way it's supposed, it's supposed to handle more heat than Peak or Delrin. So, um, definitely what's up. So, anyways, without further ado, and without me telling you more about my health problems or anything like that, uh, let's go up close and personal and get to the nitty and the gritty! 
of the Goon RDA. All right, guys, this is the little package that the Goon comes in. Comes in this nice little velvety little pouch thing. As we open her up, go ahead and open her up here. You do get a bag of goodies here. Now you get extra O-rings, some extra screws. Now you get your RDA. Dun, 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 dun. Really, really, really nice machining on this. I have not had no problems with it grinding. Now, when I first got it, I didn't tighten this up. This little screw right here. And a little o-ring popped out, but the o-ring broke. So, I don't think they gave me another o-ring for that. So, I just tightened it up and it has been working out just fine. But, there is your 528 Customs Goon. Serial number 636. Copper 510 connection. Here is your half an inch drip tip. Nice and Delrini. <laughs> And your 528 Vapes Customs engravement on the top, which is really nice. Your drip tip is held on by a single O-ring up in there. You adjust your airflow like this. Kind of just turn the top cap here. There is a single coil option as well. So, let's see if I got it right now. Nope, dual coil. Just keep turning, just keep turning, yes, 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 and wow, what in the world. Anyways, pop it off. There's your single coil right here and your dual coils right here. Let me go ahead and line her up here. Single coil. There we go. Now we got her going. Anyways, we'll take it out once again. As you guys can see, you do get a little bit of scratches just from adjusting the airflow don't know if you guys can see it on camera here right there so you do get a little bit of scratches from adjusting your airflow does have an o-ring holds it on and yeah that about covers that so we'll take that pop this bad boy out really wish I'd have used my thingamajig but here we go, I just put it on my mod. Here's your barrel. Or sleeve, my bad. This thing wants to adjust here. Adjust! There you go. Pretty nice barrel. We got a little bit of scratches on the inside. Very nice, very nice. Now, here is the build deck. Guys, let me go ahead and pop this off here. Oh yeah, yeah. Take it on, take it off, take it on, take it off, take it on, take it off. Alright. Here is the build deck. Nice 24 millimeter in diameter. As you can see, the clamps here are kind of bent arching for me. Uh, let me go ahead and loosen these up. All right, so pretty much these will lift up put your builds in there any way you want and you got so much space it's it's really 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 not that bad to build on I mean it's not gonna be velocity easy but it will definitely be good for you guys that like to do those crazy builds as you can see it does have a slight arch in it but that's for me clamping my coils down I don't know how bad that will get over time so definitely keep that in mind uh, I don't know if they have spare parts to that 
Uh, haven't checked the site, but here's your post. Your post is screwed on by that one little screw right here. And this post is held on by your 510. So keep that in mind. You do have Phillips screws. Dual O-ring. Got an... Come on now. Focus on me. Dual O-ring does have a little lip here to catch your barrel or your sleeve. Definitely, definitely, I'm going to slap some Claptons up in here. And we will go back to FaceTime and vape on it and talk about it, guys. Alright, guys. That was the nitty and the gritty of the Goon RDA by 528 Customs and Blue Eyed Goon 83. Gotta admit, this has definitely been my go-to RDA since I have received it. It has been... I get great flavor. I, you can put very intricate builds into it. I usually use Clapton's, but you can definitely, you don't have problems fitting them in there. So I definitely have that. I really enjoy that. I love that it's 24 millimeter in, in diameter. So it definitely gives you that space that you need for a lot of wicking and coils and all that good stuff. Um, I do have a con. I wish it would have had like a 510 adapter. That way you could have used like your 510s. But it, it, it's really not that bad because I really like the drip tip that it comes with. I mean, it's really good. It's not too wide bore, but it's not too restricted, if you know what I mean. Uh, if you're anything like me, I like to drip through the drip tip. So right onto my wick and then vape like that because I'm just, gotta admit, I'm kind of a little bit of a lazy vapor. So... Anyways, guys, uh, don't really have much more to say about it. I really, really enjoy this RDA. It's definitely been my go-to since I have received it. Um, if you guys could do me a huge solid and do a solid for yourselves, join Casada.org and TheVapingMilitia.org. Also, check out NotBlowingSmoke.org and fight for your right to vape. Sign up for all the cause the action i mean this is very important guys we have to come together as a vape community and definitely fight this because i mean nobody wants to go back to smoking at least i know i don't i am perfectly happy with where i am now so please guys follow the links in the description below sign up do your part and fight for your right to vape and as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys Monday. So, you guys have a good weekend, stay safe, and keep blowing them clouds, guys.